You are listening to the Park Flyer Podcast, where we discuss our RC adventures. Welcome to the Park Flyer Podcast, where we discuss the ups and downs of the new RC Flyer. Join your hosts, Michael and Jay, as they take flight at the park. Now on with the show. Hey everybody, welcome to the Park Flyer Podcast. I'm Michael from Arizona, with me always are my good friends. Jay from the hills of Texas. And A.K. Mike in Texas. And we're missing Shannon tonight. He uh, he is off doing some business. Um, he's and, probably fixing uh, that boy. Yeah, you know, he's got a story. We found out on our Facebook listeners group that uh, he had just got this new airplane and uh, went to go maiden it, and I think the aileron departed. So we're going to have to... Uh, Whoops. <laughs> I think he's... Yeah, we're gonna have to hear a little bit about that story. But, Since that's uh, never happened to any of us, I know, be a right? Really that's, interesting story. That's the pre-flight. It's always the new guy. The safety thing. Man. It's always yeah, the new yeah, guy. Always the new one. Newbie. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I don't think he thinks it's that funny. I'll be honest with you. No, I don't. I know he doesn't think it's funny because he waited for that thing and uh, yeah, finally he got it. But he was really excited. But when uh, he's he'll be back with us next time, and uh, we're going to um, hear all about it. And uh, what what happened, and and you know, lament over his uh, his loss. But uh, but anyway, uh, Jay, you had an opportunity, or I thought you were getting geared up to go fly with Jim and and get some stuff done. What, how did that go with you? Yeah, well, uh, as you know, the uh, my new plane with the bison and everything, uh, it's a four cell or a six cell, and I've been flying it on a six cell. Mm-hmm. And the only thing I don't like about the six cell, it makes the plane feel really heavy, and it flies heavy. Yeah. And so I decided right. to go with a four cell and I finally got the, my props and everything came in and, and, uh, I gave, uh, my good buddy, Jim, a call and said, Hey, I'm going to take this plane out and go fly it. And, and so we had had our play date set up and, uh, unfortunately, uh, he had some, uh, appointments come up and, uh, so he wasn't going to, wasn't going to be able to make it. And I decided, well, I'll have to go it alone and I was going to go and man, the weather down here just has been super crappy i mean it it's it look it's looked like it was gonna rain and that didn't really bother me that much but it has just been windy as all i mean just 20 mile an hour you know gusts up to 30 it's just been horrible for the wind down here which is really unusual because it's normally not it can be windy at that field but it's not that windy so i've uh, right. elected not to take it up uh you know to try it out <laughs> on the windiest days of the year yeah, so i decided the to wait until the year. next nice day I mean, let the bison prove itself. That's it. Yeah, I, I did not want to have a Alaron uh, depart uh, for my plane. You <laughs> so yeah. you know, sitting on they the ground. two set, yeah, two sad stories. Uh, so you got the three bladed prop. Were you able to put it on a watt meter to see if there was a difference? Have you done that yet? No, I. It's not a three. It's not a three bladed. It's remember. Uh, the, I mean, I'm at three cell. Sorry, that's my fault. Or four you cell. got a prop that four should, cell. It's four on a four cell. cell. Four cell. It's yeah. going down to a four cell. So no, I haven't. I haven't thrown my watt meter on it. But uh, from what I've seen from some other guys, it gives comparable power to the uh, mm-hmm. to the six cell, mm-hmm. you know, wattage wise. So uh, right. no, but I haven't tested it out. That's one thing I haven't done. I should do that. Yeah, that would be interesting to have. Uh, you know, to put your six cell on there, do a static run up with that because under the watt meter, you just plug it right in and then mm-hmm. uh, change the prop out and see if it you get somewhere similar. Because I know these other guys are doing it, but, uh, you know, who knows? Maybe they're using a different pitch or something. And, you know, I'd hate for you to put this on and go fly it. It's real lethargic. And then, you know, oh, I can't get it off the ground. Right. Well, that was so, the, well. that's the problem with the prop that they give you for, for the 16. You know, it's a 16-inch prop that they give you. Mm-hmm. Um, and that it's just not giving you the power. And uh, by going to a 17-inch, 1710, it gives you a comparable power, at least from what I've seen from this other uh, YouTube video. It gives you the comparable power to the six cell. Mm. All right. Well, g- grab the watt meter and throw it on there and give us a report on uh, All right, I will. Know, what that what that's like. And then because uh, it'd be interesting go, to hear both. I'm gonna go, what what? What? <laughs> what, what that's a lot. <laughs> so and then uh have you uh I mean summertime's coming around too. Have you sp- scoped out anywhere for the floats or are you you still just Oh yeah, so um it? Yeah, uh, right, right here at Canyon Lake. I'll just probably go zip down there and give it a, sh- a shot. So Jim will be happy about that because that's closer to his house. So yeah, I'll probably go down to the marina. Just dig a, a hole in the middle of your runway, put some water in it. 
There you go. Mm, yeah, it's to get <laughs> in the water. the runway. Wait, there's a it's river got... over there. Just damn it yeah, up. There it's is. some beavers. Yeah. You, you, know, mean, you mean the dry <laughs> river? <laughs> you mean the dry creek? Get some beavers. <laughs> get some beavers to get build some a dam. Beavers over there some Texas dam. beavers. Little... Yes, I remember that during the, the times. That's why they, they came out here to you get the do beaver it. pelts from Texas. Yes. <laughs> brought, it, brought the mountain Come men on. down from Colorado what is, to Texas. What, is, what does that have to do with anything? It doesn't. Anything. Nothing to do with it. Texas beavers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> as much rain as you guys have had down there, it should be uh, flowing through there, though. It might Probably be. Divert. Not it, dry. Yeah, it, might, it might. Yeah. True, true, true. Well, uh, it's exciting to hear uh, that you're getting your birthday gift all uh, kind of wrapped up. And uh, speaking of birthdays, um, we just, uh, this podcast comes out and uh, my birthday was uh, on the 14th, actually. The Mike and Mike, both had, both of us had a birthday on the 14th. bump. So we uh, we were pretty excited, and um, we're going to use this uh, this episode to kind of talk. Uh, we're going to split this because uh, I think we're going to talk a little bit about my gift, and then the next go round we're going to talk a little bit about Mike's gift, and uh, so that we can um, you know kind of give him an opportunity instead of trying to squeeze it all into the thirty minutes and just kind of go through it. But we uh, yeah we're um, kind of hanging out, and uh, I was chatting with these two guys, and my wife comes in and says, "Hey, I got something for you," and she uh, brings me this huge box uh, of uh, products and uh, hands it to me and says, Hair products? Go. Not hair <laughs> products, of <laughs> products, uh, just regular products. And uh, unfortunately, I have the same problem uh, with me, uh, with my gift that, that I had with Jay. Or Jay has the same problem. You guys had the same problem with my gift as, Jay ha- as I had with Jay's. And the fact that she hands me this box and it is perfectly written on the outside with a etched picture uh, of, of what it the, is of what it is yeah uh, it's... i did ask for it to be wrapped in the porn wrap so i don't know why I did. <laughs> <laughs> well thank you for not doing that was, they did not have been awesome uh no 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 you know it's a brown paper bag wrapper yeah, yeah, thing, just yeah. the wrap uh, uh-huh. the brown wrapper and it says brown uh, chicken brown cow on the outside that's right <laughs> With a with a life size chicken brown cow. Some inflation is needed. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no this this box uh, was perfectly brown rectangular. It came in. Cow. Yeah. No. Uh, it came out and it uh, basically had a picture of uh, if you're on our YouTube pic, uh, YouTube you can see it right here and it uh, still has a wrapper on it. But um, uh, yeah, it was uh, a 3D resin printer. And uh, what would I you have... do with a 3D resin printer? That seems I, like a weird gift. It does seem like a weird gift. I uh, I think that uh, Jay has slowly uh, decided that he's tired of listening to me call him and say, hey, can you print me this? Can you print me that? Can you print me this? <laughs> and oh. has decided to say, hey, print your own. Uh, anyway. So, I just yes, wanted, I I just wanted you up... to have the joy of what both Mike, uh, a, a, uh, AK Mike and I myself have been going through with the whole 3D process. And we wanted so, to bring you into the fold to feel the joy that comes well, and from frankly, the Mike, since I since Jay started with this stuff and then I joined him, it has been progressively easier to do this stuff. So, like, I spent my first printer that Jay got me two Christmases ago, three Christmases ago. Yeah. I must mm-hmm. have spent six months trying to get it working right because I didn't know anything about it and the right. process was hard and the printer had issues, you know, for various reasons. But then I bought the Creality one that I have now, and that thing's like a snap roll of it relative to my other printer. But right. the process, the workflow process is so much easier today than it was even two years ago uh, to huh. just get stuff off the internet or whatever, slice it, put it on your printer, off you go. So I don't expect you to be spending, especially since Jay and I have both been through the process, you, as much right. time as we had to dig in. Well, and part out. of the reason that I waited is because I saw what Jay went through when he first got okay. his. For sure. He, he went got his way back. You know, he pulled it out hey. of the box and instantly it didn't work, you know. <laughs> and, and then the he spent smoke like, came you know, out all this first. time trying to figure it, it out. The first yeah, thing that came out. Came out. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, it just it got to the point where I was kind of like, eh, you know, I've got I don't so need much that trouble. stuff going on. I don't need that trouble. I don't, yeah. you know, it's okay. And Jay That's has exactly how I feel about it. I don't need that yeah. trouble. Yeah. And if I need something, I'll just say, hey, Jay, just print this out. Yeah. It's not like he's doing anything all day anyway. He's retired. <laughs> so he's I. Doing uh, something. <laughs> he's we doing don't know what, but he's doing out. something. I'm printing yeah, your crap out. That's what I'm doing. That's right. 
Uh, so yeah. And, and it's kind of interesting because, you know, I, I kind of watched that and then, you know, I, I knew that he got you a, you know, a 3d printer a couple of Christmas ago and, and saw what you had to go through and, and but yours was relatively small, I think. And it was, it was really printer. small. Yeah. yeah. The first one was really small. And so I, I, but I still had fun with what I, I mean, I printed out some pretty cool stuff and I did some things with it and I was like, this is mm-hmm. neat. And then I just like, you know what though? I think I need a bigger bed. And so I bought yeah. the bigger but the bigger printer for Christmas for myself, I think one year. Okay. Well, good. Yep. Well, so, so, so there is a difference. Uh, and I'm going to let Jay kind of explain because this is a Creality. What did they, what is this one? A, a, what is the brand on this? I got my box right here. You should have LD zero zero. It's an LD zero zero two H. So that's a 3d, uh, resin printer, which is different than what you have. Right. Jay, that's you, correct. you right. actually have, right. Right, Something I have a, it's else. known as FDM, uh, and of course I, I don't remember what the acronym means, but basically it, well, it, it, take, it takes in a plastic filament in, melts it, and then redeposits it in, a, in wherever it is that you want to, into the thing that you want to make. Where yours, being a resin printer, um, it uses a light source, UV light, to harden the liquid, and it does this by... Um, uh, by basically turning on and off the using you know, the LED screen that it uses, it basically turns on the pixels and makes a um, like a mat or a um, a plate, you know, on on the on the screen itself. It's like making a, a outline of whatever it is that you like, it, you know, and it just tells the it makes everything else black and it turns on just just the uh, LED the LEDs in in the thing that you want, right? So if you're making a box, it, it makes a box, the outline of the box projects the light through it for a certain amount of seconds that hardens the liquid becomes a solid and then it raises the where ours you know the bed will it stays you know the same level and then the uh, print head raises itself yours basically does the same thing but it moves the actual plate which is smeared against which is when it starts out smeared against the glass and then it raises up you know that 0. 0.505 millimeters up then you know projects the box again you know and then that sticks to the plate which is now above it you know because that's now the new floor or ceiling if you want to think about it that way and then you know keeps repeating that and raises it up and if it keeps that up to you know whatever height you want and boom you have a perfect box it's really kind of like a movie you know it really kind of it plays a slow-mo movie on, yeah. on the plate basically so, right. so the one of the main differences I think is that uh, yours prints from the bottom up, and this prints upside down. Right. right? Yes. Because yours is actually laying something on the. Uh, but it's still the bottom up. For, it's still the bottom up, though. Right. But that, what I'm saying just is, that it's, yeah, that just that it's like the bottom upside down when it does it, right? Do yeah. Which exactly. Yeah. So yours is actually on the plate. It lays the bottom side down and then yeah. it the actually next layer, builds next it layer, up next so that it gets higher right. and higher and higher where this right. one, it goes down to the bottom. And then from what I understand, and you have to excuse me because I, I am so new to 3D printing. I mean, this literally has, I haven't even started this up yet, but, uh, you know, looking at the box and talking to Jay for a little bit before the podcast, um, so this one actually submerges itself and then the light uh, basically cures the resin from what right. I understand, mm-hmm. right? So it right. shines a light. It's a UV curing resin, and then it moves up. So it builds it, but it's doing it as the plate's moving up, where yours, the head is moving up. So they're right. both from the bottom up, but mine, mine is dipping down in and then coming back. You know, kind right. of doing this. Right. Right. Yep. So and, so the and I know that the. Yeah, go ahead. I know that Spencer got one similar to this that I put together, and we test printed something. You know that day. Uh, it only take, took like 10 minutes to set it up. Uh, and then we had test printed some box or ship or something, I think, that, that was in the process. That's pretty normal. Yeah. So I, what I, mean, what I, I have re- seen one of these work. What I really like about the resin printers more than the FDM printers is the detail, which you can mm-hmm. do. I think this is an AK printer, Jay. Is that right? Uh, Four, I think. Or Four two. two. It's a two. Sure. I think so. Okay. I thought it was yeah, more than that. It doesn't matter. Uh, it may be four, but I think it's the point is, is that the that that resolution allows you to do things like figurines, as, which is mm-hmm. mostly what we figured you'd do. End up doing this for like little add-on bombs or little mm-hmm. pilots, because I know there was a time when you were like struggling to find a pilot, and then someone printed one for you, and it ended up being like the wrong size or whatever. Oh, yeah, that and guy, it's like, yeah, he built it. 
Yeah, it's like, wow, that's really bad. And so this way, uh, you can print something to scale to the size that you need it to be, and then paint it or do whatever you want to do and put it in your plane. And that way, yeah. we can maybe we can even make like a guy who's hanging onto the wing of one of your jets or something as he's flying around <laughs> or something. A little army man, hey, yeah, a little army man, exactly. Well, it's kind of funny because uh, you know, like I got this, and then uh, Jay and I had were, were kind of talking about it, and uh, he he basically I told him that I wanted to print some antennas for the L thirty nine, right? And uh, so we, we've been looking for some of those. Um, you know, bombs wise, there's not really a whole lot of bombs hanging off of it, but um, you, you know, I mean, the Sparrow doesn't have any of those either, but I. I could print, you know, little antennas. And so we've been looking for those. And I, that's one of the hardest things is that I just don't know where to go to look. And so, or, or you just Jay's make them. Been, well, so that's, that's another thing too, is that, uh, I mean, I do have a little bit of a design background. I mean, yes, I can design do. stuff and, and, you know, kind of do graphics type work. So, I mean, if that's, if, if it works similar to that, uh, then, you know, maybe I can make some, I think you'll find antenna. I think you'll find it's easier than you imagine. Really? Yes. That was one of the biggest things I I think I you know, for me one of the I mean cuz the the price on these things has come way down. I yeah, mean, a resin printer what 3 years ago when they first had it was $1000. Well, yeah, they were a lot, and, yeah. Yeah, they were horrendous and and then the resin was expensive too. And so um you know, they have come down and I and I've toyed around with getting one, but then it was always like, okay, well I don't really know you know, how hard it is to design something. I mean, you know, Jay was always like, oh, yeah, I just go on Thinkiverse and find it. But I did that one time uh, to have him print something, and I, I got nowhere. But when we were talking earlier, he was like, hey, let me explain how to go do this. And I didn't realize STL files is what the 3D printers are. And so he's like, oh, yeah, here's a couple of Sparrow missiles, and here's some other stuff and some cockpits. And so if you know, you know, kind of just Google it, it'll take you to the Thingiverse or right. the to wherever Yankee it might or be, whatever, you know, right. wherever it might be. And the so, great thing so is that people share that stuff out, you know, and mm -hmm. not, the, the creative community is really open to sharing mm -hmm. that stuff. It's really kind of great that way. Well, it's kind of exciting. I, I, uh, I am looking forward to it. I did get some resin uh, with it. So uh, matter of fact, uh, that came, They obviously they didn't come at the same time because- no. uh, yeah. Our, our Lee told me uh, when she a while ago that you know she's like well I I kept this I had to wait till both you know came in here and uh, so I guess the other one must have showed up sometime soon because Jay was saying that one yeah showed up it's like two week. days and my and the, and my shipping was like ten or something like oh, that was I was like oh, oh damn yeah so <laughs> it was actually pretty good I uh, I Luckily was out of, out of town this last oh, yeah I was out of town this week and uh, when I saw that the um, you know, my cameras all over, ring cameras and all that stuff. And uh, I saw that FedEx had come, and I was expecting something from FedEx. As a matter of fact, it's right here. If you uh, are on our podcast, if oh, you're yeah. on our YouTube channel, you can see it is the new uh, AR2400T. Oh. And uh, this is the, the brand new um, 20 channel from Spectrum. Nice. And uh, it's telemetry. And so I had ordered one, and I knew it was coming in. And so when FedEx came, I saw the FedEx truck, I assumed... It was just the receiver. It's funny that you said that because Jay and I were talking about, okay, well, you know, hopefully our Lee's been ordering stuff or he's been ordering stuff so that <laughs> when the, when the truck shows up, you know, he's like, what's that truck showing up for? You know, start right, asking questions. Right. And I was like, nah, it's not, we don't have anything to worry about. You know, Amazon know. and Mike are best buddies. And yeah, so, pretty much. And so FedEx comes or Amazon comes whenever. And so. It's all good. And so uh, we were laughing about it. It's like, that's not going to be a worry. It'll be funny. So well, when I ordered my funny stuff, part, is... yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say, so when I, when I, when we, Mike and I figured out that our stuff was going to be coming at different times and stuff, and he's like, oh, you better contact your Mike's wife and let her know that your stuff's coming in early. So I, 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 I texted her and I said, hey, I, I got something coming in the mail, blah, 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 blah. And I said, oh, I'll, I'll give you, it should be there like the day after you had left to go to work. And I said, he should be showing up that day, but I'll let you know when it shows up. And I'll also give you the order number so that you can tell it apart from the other packages. Cause I know there's going to be more than one package that day. There's going to be right, several yeah. other normal packages <laughs> sure. and you're going to be like, yeah, well, he said his package is coming, but how can I tell which one it is? So I sent her the, the uh, order number. So she kind of got a chuckle out of that. And, uh, and then she says, is there more coming? I said, well, you might get something else from, from Mike, you know, 
might be coming too, but it's a big, it's a big package. So you'll know when that one comes in. She's like, okay. So, yeah. but uh, it was pretty funny. Well, what I think uh, is funny is that the, you know, the, the order, when I ordered it, it was like between the 19th and the 22nd. So it could showed up uh, whenever, but yeah. I don't know it showed up. I'm, I mean, it sooner, showed up early than later. Yeah, should, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Showed up sooner it, than later. So. so that's cool. Yeah. Well, that, uh, it, it was, it was awesome. I, uh, I was super surprised and that's very difficult. Uh, you know, it surprised me because like I said, it, it stuff shows up. I think I could probably count on one hand how many times Jay's is actually, you know, surprised the fact that, Hey, wait, what is this? You know, where I got something, but, but that is true. I had ordered, uh, as a matter of <laughs> fact, the motorhome, uh, we had taken the motorhome out and I ordered a bunch of stuff for the, for the motorhome. And, um, right before I left, and that's usually what I do right before I go out to work, you know, I'm gone for four days. So I, I, uh, I order a bunch of stuff and then she collects it all. And I am on a first name basis with my Amazon driver. I mean, when he pulls in there, he usually, he knows if I, you know, yeah, uh, his name's, uh, Jeremy actually, but, um, the disc. yeah, and house. actually the other, <laughs> other Amazon driver's name is Tyler. So <laughs> oh, that's funny. Both, but uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it, it was, uh, it slipped through the cracks and I didn't even notice. I just assumed it was the stuff that I got. And when I got home, uh, from my trip, um, yeah, all my packages were where they normally are. And I just picked them all up and, you know, I was opening them up and I'm like, okay, well this one, I ordered this, ordered this, ordered this. So, uh, so I was pretty excited and I was all focused more on the, you know, the receiver getting the receiver. Right. So, uh, that was a spendy. Oof. Yeah. My birthday well, luckily we got under the radar birthday. of the receiver. Yeah. You did. Yeah, you yeah. did. You got, uh, it was very, 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 very good. So, cool. well, I, I'm excited to get it set up. I uh, literally unboxed it and it's just kind of sitting there because I wanted to kind of, you know, talk to you guys and touch base on the podcast. And, and so, uh, so and besides the antennas, what else do you think you want to make? Like, you know, do you have ideas? You know, I, I don't know. I, I, it's, I guess the sky's the limit, right? I mean, it is. in my eyes, in my head, the first thing I, I think of is because I saw what Spencer did at his place where he made a bunch of aviation stuff, right? He made cockpit parts and he made, now his airplane was much bigger than mine and I already have a cockpit in mind. I didn't, I don't have to change anything out, but, uh, but I, I don't know, you know, there's little things I, I, I'm just going to have to start looking to see what, what it is I can make. And uh, I will tell you that the, the detail work that, that the older, the, the one that Spencer had, it was pretty phenomenal. I mean, I yeah, was really yeah. it, impressed. It, blow, with, it blows away what what an FDM printer can do. I mean, yeah, yeah. you know, even even the oldest it'll be stuff. Smooth. It'll be yeah, it'll yep. be smooth and it'll be yeah, very featureful. And and they, uh, I think I, um, I think I was reading earlier. Somebody sent me something. I always get stuff from like, um, you know, the hobby stores and different stuff. And I know Jay has got, um stuff coming to me as well but i i think that they just released uh something new is like an 8k didn't you say it was yes the four they have an 8k, they have an 8K. 8K one. so but, um, but for the stuff that we're amazing. doing i don't know if we need that kind of detail that's that's for quite literally right. make they make like little figurines that you know for D and mm-hmm. for you know warhammer and all that kind of stuff they're making these super detailed mm-hmm. characters that are you know teeny tiny and they you know Got, you see all their fingernails on the, on their hands. And, yeah, right. I mean, it's just right. phenomenal. Whiskers. The amount of, exactly. You know, so we don't need quite that detail, but if we're making busts and whatever, I mean, just the regular 2K stuff that will give you all that you ever want and that stuff. Yeah, that, be, that'd that be the only thing. It'd be kind of cool to make a, you know, a pilot, you know, like a military guy or whatever. That's well, it's playing. funny you should mention that because all you need is your, an Apple phone, which I know you have. And, I do uh, have an Apple. and you can make a bust of yourself making a 3d picture of yourself what? very easily with no your way. Your, yes. Way. And once we, and once that's you make I'm that do. bust. Oh, so want, that's, that's, do one of your dog. A, <laughs> I can do one of the dog. That'd be kind of funny. Do one of the dog. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to do one of me, and then I'm going to send it to you guys. You know, like here you go, put this on your desk. That way, I'm always, I'm always Christmas watching. ornaments. Mike's Mike's Christmas ornament. <laughs> that's right. That's a that's a good one. I'll make Christmas ornaments this year. But myself. but make sure you're staying there holding a, a an RC thing because right. otherwise, was, like, these give us suck. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah Let's put a little sound chip in there that when you press the button, it says these gimbals suck. <laughs> there you go. These gimbals are terrible. Did uh, did he send you that actually? The no. the little. Uh-huh. 
Oh, yeah. He sent me a meme. You'll have to send it to him. But it was a guy that was uh, had a radio, and he's like, ooh, what's up with these gimbals? And so the, they hand him a different radio, and he goes, I want the gold gimbals. And so they hand him one, and he's like, his eyes closed. He's like, oh, that's much better. And then uh, his kid goes, all right, can we go fly the drone now? And he looks at him and goes, what's a drone? You know, anyway, <laughs> Jay was laughing. He sent it to me. I was just busting a gut. He's like, this reminded me of you. And I'm like, yeah, because the ratchet thing on people's radio just drives me insane. I mean, uh -huh. I, I was so glad that my You don't like my FR Sky stuff because it rattles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just, I don't I know. Like, I, don't I like it, but you don't. It's just, I don't know. Now I can become a uh, 3D snob. So yeah, yeah say, there you well, go. I got a resin printer. Hey, now here's a good question. Uh, sure. And uh, can we use this uh, to print out parts for the uh, Infinity Wing? Uh, well, you could, uh, but mm. but but the problem is, is that he uses lightweight filament, so so it's a special um, filament. To, so he well, said, so there you go. He he said he he printed an Infinity Wing without that foam stuff, but it was mm. significantly heavier. Oh, gotcha. So. So yeah, no, I mean in that sense, no. But right, you but, could, but you, could. you will be able to print out things like motor mounts, um, mm -hmm. like you said, different little parts for your plane, or if your plane breaks, you you know, I think we fixed uh, A's, uh, AK's plane one time. You know, I printed out uh, was it a brace or something for for uh -huh. for uh, a battery or three D like yeah, that for yeah ba battery or three D plane. So I mean, you can you're uh -huh. you're going to be able to make those things. Um, without a problem or or like you said hatches covers inlets um you know mm -hmm. for like uh All i know like stuff. for yeah, spe there especially you go. I for some nacelles nacelles uh like i know i know guys are making uh nac nac to duts nac am i saying that right the nac yep, duts, that's what ducts I meant. for the inlets that's what I was yeah say, the so they uh a lot of guys print those things out and stick them in the in the foam planes or or various other planes to get cooling in yeah. their in their aircraft yeah. so i mean you could you, you could do whistles. all sorts of stuff Whistles. The, right. Remember the whistles, whistles that you that you did before that you went out and bought all those Nerf yep. things. You can print yep. those whist whistles out. The four Nerf balls at thirty yep. bucks a piece. And <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. Just oh, for the my whistles. Wife looked at me. She was shaking her head like, "What? You, are you'll be you able. Doing? You will be able to print out the same whistle. You know, and make forty of them. You know, at a time. Uh, nice. So that and that's the other key with the resin printer over like my FDM printer. So if it mm -hmm. if it takes me to a half an hour to print out a part or an hour to print out a part. So if I make if I make ten of them, you know, hey, ten times thirty minutes. That's how long it's going to take to oh, print out the parts. Right on a right. on a uh, resin printer. If you can fit if you can fit ten parts on on your bed, it doesn't care how many things you're making. It takes exactly the same time. So if it takes thirty minutes, it, it, if you make one or you make thirty or fifty, it doesn't it doesn't care. So that so that's where it gets great for if you're making a bunch of parts or small parts. Yeah, if you, you can, can fit them all in the them, bed. That's what we call and, it, nest them. Yeah. yeah, nest them. Yeah, that's right. If you're nesting them, you can make all the parts and do it in minimal amount of time. And that's the that's huh. the great thing about the about uh, those uh, you know resin printers. Well, that is cool. Uh, I'm I'm excited now. Well, and two, I think you could probably make like if you want to make like different kind of parts uh you could make molds to for those parts too we've oh, talked about that before true right too. Yeah, so, yeah 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 uh, you know you can make reverse make molds mold. or, or regular molds and then do a reverse out of it mm -hmm. yeah that's kind of neat i could do that too yep well um that's uh that's going to be one of those things you guys are going to have to uh try to you know find something and say hey look here you know try to make this oh or well something. Jay will, Jay will be happy to provide. I'm, I'm sure oh, he will. Hey, listen, I already sent you a good video with a guy basically printed a whole plane, you know, uh, fiberglass, the whole 3D printed plane. And he was True. making all, yeah, you know, did. so I, I already gave my hint as to what I want you to make. There you go. I'll have to, uh, with that little thing, though, I don't think the, I don't think the print bed is that big, is it? That'd be a lot of. Well, no. Pretty it, big. That, it's it, what is it? Well, here's what I'm thinking. Remember, you were talking about the probably little, not your, as your, big as what you have. But remember, you're you're talking about the little, uh, not the nose cones, but the uh, the light the light nose cones for on the tips, the wingtips. The little. Uh, oh yes. You can make a mold yes, for that. Yes, 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 yes. Put the plastic on it, suck it down. Yeah. You know, and you can make a mold out of that thing. Then. Right. And plus, being that's a 3D printer, mm -hmm. 
There it's going to be smooth. It'll take minimal sanding to prep it and get it get it ready for your for your setup. Mm -hmm. And it's heat resistant. Hmm. That's the beauty of that's another beauty of Now uh, can I get the the resin in different colors? I think there's three colors here. This is gray. You, and the, yeah, and this thing we sent you was black, white. gray and white, which are kind of the basics. Gray and white's pretty much, you okay. know, the basic. But you can get it in like translucent and they're mainly translucent colors because remember you, light has to travel okay. through it in order to make it to harden it, right? So you won't oh, you won't see too many right. opaque yeah. colors. Um right. or or you will, but they'll be kind of lightish is what I'm saying, right? So Well, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Well, good. I'm, I'm excited. So, yeah, I totally forgot, Mike, that uh, I um, I was talking to Jay about that. That's probably where he got this idea because I said I wanted him to print me out some uh, nose or some uh, uh, basically what you just said, a mold for the the light lens that goes on the L39. Cause I yeah, broke the one both. that you kept breaking all over the place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I backed into it and just cracked it, cracked the lens on it. So this would be kind of cool. Actually, I could actually modify this one where I could actually make a housing and then put a little plastic piece inside it so I could cut right. these down and then glue it in where it's just the front part that's the glass. Figure out a way to kind of attach it. So that'd be kind of neat. So huh. I think it's like 84 millimeters, the bed width. 84 millimeters? 84, yeah. Well, that's pretty big. I don't know. I, don't, I mean, it's. I know that they make uh, the type of printers Jay has that are like 500 millimeters. Oh yeah, and that's, that's you know. A couple well, that's the downside so. for 3D printing. You know, uh, they're small bits, but you can get bigger ones. But that just means you're pouring in more resin. Uh, no. Resin still true too. costs more than a roll of filament. So. Yeah. Well, there yeah. you go. Like 82 by 130 by 160 high. Oh, so it's got some height to it. You can print mm -hmm. something long. Yeah, exactly. Well, very cool. Well, very, very cool. Uh, happy birthday to uh, me, uh, <laughs> Arizona Mike. And happy, uh, happy birthday. birthday to AK Mike as well. Right. We're going to uh, let you go for this time, but uh, I think the next uh, go around in two weeks, we're going to talk to uh, Mike about his gift, and then uh, he's got the whole time and, and tell us uh, all about his, uh, his exploits. But uh, thank you very much. Uh, we appreciate your support here at the Park Fire Podcast. Uh, hopefully we'll have uh, Shannon back with us. Uh, but for now, I'm Michael from Arizona. I'm Jay from the hills of Texas. And I'm AK Mike from Texas. And we'll see you in two weeks. Let's fly. You have been listening to the Park Flyer Podcast. Thank you for joining us. And we look forward to your next visit. Please give our show a star rating and review. And feel free to email us your questions, topics, or suggestions to parkflyerpodcast at gmail.com. <laughs>